This weekend, the Dallas-Fort Worth area gets its second drive through zoological park. The new park is Lion Country Safari, located on a 485-acre tract in Grand Prairie, just off the Dallas-Fort Worth Turnpike. The older park, which opened in the fall of 1970, is World of Animals. It is a number of miles east of Dallas, off Interstate 20 in Mesquite. It is not unique for a metropolitan area like Dallas-Fort Worth to have more than one of the drive through animal parks. For example, there are three or four of them between Los Angeles and San Diego, and two are going into neighboring areas in New Jersey. But there is some question whether the Dallas-Fort Worth area can support two of them here. Quite obviously, Lion Country Safari believes it can succeed here, or it wouldn't have opened the drive through in Grand Prairie, the third of a projected eight Lion Country parks for the United States. Lion Country has invested an estimated seven million in the Grand Prairie facility but its risk is perhaps not as great as that figure might indicate. To a certain extent anyway, the city of Grand Prairie has underwritten Lion Country. Lion Country is perhaps the slicker of the two operations. It is larger. At the moment anyway, it has more animals, including a number of rare cheetahs, which it was able to get out of Africa. And its look, complete with thatched huts and employees in bush jackets and safari hats, is more African veld. Its prices are also slightly higher, adults paying $3.75 and children $2.75, but that price includes a taped description of the park's wildlife and admission to an amusements park. World of Animals does have room left for further development. Only 250 of its 550 acres have been developed so far. Its setting is more rural than lion countries and in some ways more attractive since it is built on rolling hills while Lion Country is located in flat floodplain. World of Animals' chief claim to uniqueness, though, is its baboon colony, possibly the only such colony in a drive through in this country. Other than that, its animals, more or less, are the same as Lion Country's, and all of this goes for three dollars for adults and a dollar and a half for children at World of Animals, but visitors pay an extra dollar for the tape description of the wildlife. Whether two such parks can make money in Dallas is open for debate. Lion Country Safari says there's room for both of them, but while World of Animals people won't admit it, at least not openly, there is obviously fear at the Mesquite Park that Lion Country may put them out of business. However, Bob Dooley, World of Animals Director of Wildlife, sounds more optimistic. A former Houston Zoo man, he points out that he helped develop the Houston Zoo from a chicken coop, as he calls it, into one of Texas's major zoos. He says he can do the same for World of Animals.